Hello, welcome back. Today we want to talk about the boolean and how to use a conditional、uh, command, if command, to make a decision, to make a program to branch. Okay, maybe go this direction. True, if true happen or not true happen, go to another part. Okay. So first, let's run our Python interpreter. Okay, I'm going to.、Uh, Write the basic structure. Okay, if true. Okay, actually, true is a keyword. It's a reserved word. Okay, it's a boolean type. Okay, don't believe me? You can, you can use what you know.、Uh, true. Okay, it's actually boolean. So anything compare、uh, could be. Could be、uh, this type, okay? So now we want to use this, okay? True, and I put a colon here, okay? To make you easy to notice, I put a space, okay?、Uh, actually, space is not necessary, but yeah. And after you enter it,、uh, because the colon. Uh, here means that okay, you are going to fill in the the true part.、Uh, in the interactive mode, you will see three dot. Okay, only in the interactive mode. Here means that you have not finished your typing yet. Okay. Ah,、uh, so you need to kind of indent. Okay, you can either type full space. Okay, full space will be. Ah,、uh, come on, because、uh, four another another level, ah、uh, inner level another four. Ah,、uh, Python use indent, ah、uh, indentation a lot to describe the blocking structure. Okay, this is very important. Okay, to ah、uh, kind of use indent to to that ah、uh, to show the. To show the block structure in Python, okay. So here I just print、uh, maybe true part. Okay. Ah,、uh, um, normally ah、uh, you will have a else else part. That、uh, means、uh, when the condition become false, you will do another part. Okay, the same print. Not the same. This is a false part. Okay. Okay, here you go. This is the uh, most uh, simplest one. And、uh, if you finish your typing, okay, and you can press the enter here. Okay. After you press enter, the Python will start to evaluate、uh, this statement. Okay. And because I already type okay the the condition the boolean is true so、uh, they will run this part so it printed out here. In real case,、uh, we won't do this. We will use a variable to check with us another variable or some constant to make the program dynamical、uh, evaluate the situation. So that okay, maybe sometimes goes to true, sometimes go to false. Okay, this is、uh, what make a program kind of uh, intelligence uh, have the intelligence to decide the different situation. It's quite important. Okay, so now I would like to copy the program.、Uh, kind of use an arrow, right?、Uh, kind of change my code. So this is a、uh, force, okay? Else,、um, and then force part, okay? I run it again. Finish, so you can see、uh, when the boolean is false, okay? So what I'm talking here, let me change. Use a pen here. It's a boolean. Condition, okay. So if it's a true, the true part will be executed. If the false, the else part, okay, is responsible for false, okay. And 
Yeah, in the real situation, as I said, uh, you may have a variable, okay? Maybe um, greater than another variable, y, okay? And, and they would determine these two variables, kind of compare. Uh, if x is truly uh, greater than y, they will do the true part, okay? If x is less than uh, or equal to y uh, in this statement will be false. They will they will jump to the false part. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Uh, be sure to know um, in Python use a column uh, to to kind of uh, define um, their nested structure. Okay. Not just in the if condition. Uh, in the function, uh, define function definition, they will also use this, okay? We will see that in the function. Okay, uh, let's uh, kind of integrate our previous previous uh, example, right? Uh, our previous example, we, we have uh, input, right? Uh, so what if I input, uh, oh, what if I give a number, okay, and I take the input, uh, I, t, I'm p input, uh, I'm p u t, Okay, for example, please input x. Hmm. Hmm. Here, okay. Input x, okay. x, for example, 10. I can take uh, np is 10. Yeah, this is a string 10, right? So, what about uh, we convert it input? We convert it as an integer before calculation, okay? And then we convert it and we do comparison. If the input is greater than five, it's true. If the uh, input is, uh, uh, of course, in this case, greater than five uh, is true. Uh, what else? If you input this uh, is three uh, greater than five is false. Okay. Yeah, that's a basic uh, scenario we want to test. Okay. So, um, so now we kind of construct our if right. If our in uh, integer input. Uh, kind of greater than phi, uh, we need to do the prompt, right? Print uh, uh, your number, your input number is, uh, is MP, right? Input it is greater than M5. Okay. Things like this. Else. Mm. Print. Is. Is. Uh, not greater. Okay. Then five. Okay. Yeah. See, my previous uh, input is ten, right? Still remember? So we do in this in this code. Let me explain uh, a little bit. Um, the input is ten. 
and we convert the string type of the 10 because uh, if you just keep 10 you cannot compare with the number because the different type right a string type cannot kind of compare with the number type so this line uh, is to kind of uh, convert the type so that they have a two number okay 10 can compare with 5 and now we use a uh, greater uh, greater than it is true yeah it in this case is true right so we do this part yeah if you rerun this program again ask again retype next time you maybe you input is 5 5 is is 5 greater than 5? No, 5 is equal than 5. Equal to 5, right? So they will do the force. Okay. Yes. So, uh, of course, now we are in the interactive mode. So everything you need to t retype so that you can rerun. Okay. Um, but this is what it is for the interactive mode. We learn a small piece of the command, we test it. Uh, in the later on, when we write uh, the script, uh, you can write hundreds of thousands of programs. Of course, that you are not a beginner anymore. You are experienced learner. Okay. So that's the basic structure. Again, okay. be sure to use the indent. Okay. You use a full space. Okay. To use that. Okay. Or oh, you you can use a simple, uh, simple tab. Okay, tab on the keyboard. There's a tab key, right? They will uh, jump to the next tab tab point. If you like, okay, use the way you want. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.